What's up, guys? <clears throat> I'm not in front of the camera. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I wanted to talk about this little Wayne thing. I'm moving around. Forgive me, y'all. I wanted to talk about this little Wayne thing because I think it's hilarious how people are so outraged about it. Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody has their, you know, you can feel the way that you want to feel. You have every right to feel that way. But because my personality is more on the lighter side and I really don't do too much heavy thinking, I can't, you know, my brain just can't, you know, hold all that heavy thinking. I can't do it, y'all. That's why I say a person be going through a storm and don't even be know I'm going through it. It got to be really, 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 really bad for me to be like, y'all, I'm going through a storm. But anyway... And I'm going to talk to y'all about the storm later um, because it's it's lifting and um, it just seems like blessings after another, after another come in. And I swear it's it's because of my subbies. You guys, nobody can tell me that if it's, it's not because my subbies are um, praying for me and, you know, keeping me in their thoughts and encouraging me. Like nobody can tell me that. But anyway, and especially look at how fast my channel is growing like I'm like oh my god I did 5500 like two weeks ago and I'm already like at 7500 okay so anyway let me get back to let me get back to what I want to talk about okay so anyway it's it's gonna I, I'm it's not funny what I'm saying it's it's serious okay it's serious so okay y'all think about this Lil Wayne was being facetious when he made that um video or did that interview with Nightline because he knew that Nightline was being strategic when they got him. Think about it. Like, what was it? When the Hurricane Katrina hit? I mean, that dude was a political activist. You hear me? That Negro was everywhere singing songs about how they was doing Louisiana dirty. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, New Orleans dirty. How, you know, he saw all his police brutality. How he recognizes that he's a black man. He sees this when all that happened. So he is indeed aware. He's aware of exactly what's going on. And like I said, Lil Wayne is a Libra. He's an air sign. We are what we are in that moment. Okay. So yesterday he was an activist. Today he's a skateboarder. Tomorrow he'll be a monk. Okay. And what happened was Dateline said, oh, yes. That Lil Wayne is tripping right now. He is a mess. Y'all know Lil Wayne's a mess. Y'all know that Negro is seconds away from a nervous breakdown. Didn't I tell y'all Libras don't know what to do with their money? Didn't I tell you that? That Negro should have dropped out right now because he done spent so much of his money that he is under, under, underwater you hear me and don't forget he he's so stressed out he didn't realize how underwater he was until he woke up one day and one of his baby mamas was like uh this check bounce okay and he was like the check bounce let me call baby so he called a baby and baby all like well what you want from me Babies in Aquarius, they are the boss, okay? And he like, basically, man, get it how you live. But you ain't getting nothing from me. Call your lawyers. Because he wasn't keeping track. He trusted them. He was like, you know, like, Libras leave the heavy work for somebody else. And that's how, you know, another reason why we be getting, you know, you know, crap doing sometimes. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that Negro is stressed out. If he ain't done drugs before, he is really doing drugs now. So, so at any rate, um, so at any rate, what I wanted to say specifically about it, Dateline lined him up. Dateline was like, right now, Weezy is on that BS. He is, you know, talking about he's never experienced racism. That's because right now, in this moment, Maybe the black folk ain't giving him what he need in regards to support. Maybe the white folks are because he say when he look in the audience, he see white folk. And from what I understand, the numbers say that the majority of Weezy's fans are white. So he's not, you know, he's he's not feeling that right now in that moment. And when he was like, you know, I am a rich black man. Yes, Weezy, you, you may be rich. 
on paper. But we know your ass stressed out about the bills. But I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave it alone. He was like, the cameraman is white. You know, he is taping me, a black man. Yes, he is. But they taped you there because they know that you've been acting a fool lately. And Dateline said, let's get that fool in here. They said, let's call Wheezy instead of let's call David Banner. Because if they would have called David Banner, you know, David Banner would have gave them Negroes the business. The nest, you know, they're not finna call common, you know, they're not finna call who else is a conscious. Uh, if y'all old enough to remember, um, what's the big nose dude for Biggie Dale, Boogie Down Productions? Oh my goodness, KRS1, you know, they ain't finna call, you know, they might call Queen Latifah because she didn't cross over, but the old Queen Latifah, they might have called the old, call the old Queen Latifah from the early 90s, you know, the conscious one, the one that used to wear them. The queen had on her head, that lady, that lady called her. But you can't call Wheezy in 2016 to represent the black awareness, Black Lives Matter at all. You know why? Because he don't care. He worried about his money right now. That man is not making sense. He's worried about his money. He's paying attention to the people that are paying him. And who is paying him? The white folks is coming to his concert. So... He came in there, you know, they said to him, you know, they, they pissed him off and they said, you know, what about your daughter? How would you feel if your daughter was called a, you know, a, a, a disrespectful word? You know, this was, they was touching on the, in, in this part of the interview, they was touching on how, uh, uh, rap music, uh, disrespects women, misogyny and things like that. So it pissed him off. He was upset. So to be facetious, he was like, man. And that's when he said the dumb stuff he said. He was being, he was, I mean, being honest, I saw a jerk right there. I didn't see him like really like, you know, this is what he believes because, well, this may be what he believes right now, but you can't really take him serious. But I don't see this as this is what he is at his core. What I saw was a black dude who was pissed off because the people lined him up on Dateline to say this, to ask him a question that would he knew would piss him off. And that's what happened. Plus, he was clearly high as booty cool at that time. I mean, booty cool. That Negro's pupils was so dilated. I was like, he's going to die right now. Oh, and another little piece about Lil Wayne. Let me tell y'all something. Lil Wayne has been sniffing heroin since he was like uh, 13. How do I know? Because I used to mess with a dope boy that used to sell it to him. So, believe me. Um, Yeah, Lil Wayne been doing his... He been on drugs a very, very long time. And from what I know, 13, what is he, 33? Uh, That Negro been doing drugs a good 20 years. So, he is not... Not... Uh, 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 representative of me. Okay. So at any rate, um, what else I want to say about it? Just y'all don't take him serious. Don't take Lil Wayne, Wheezy, Tanucci, uh, Wheezy F baby, uh, whatever, whatever his name is. Don't take him serious. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing too much, you know, right now. Don't get me wrong. You deserve to have your opinion about him. And I know everybody is appalled. But Wheezy, I'm telling y'all, he will be a, a in God dang on, what is it, 2016? In 2020, that Negro gonna be a minister. I didn't say it, that's it, goodbye.